Hi, this is February 4th, 2010. My name is Wayne. I'm from New Concord, Ohio. I'm a recovering alcoholic and addict. I've been off the alcohol five years and off the drugs and marijuana for three years now. I've been diagnosed with hepatitis C. It is a liver disease and my doctor had sent me out for some extent blood work. Um, when they got the results back, they had found that I am genotype 1A. My viral count is 15,471,433. Now, I did have a liver biopsy January 11th, and the results state that I'm between a 1 and 2, meaning 1 and 4, 4 is uh, cirrhosis and you need a transplant. So I'm kind of halfway there, and thank the Lord I, it's not cirrhosis. Um, my liver is inflamed. The uh, vessels are inflamed as well. My doctor is recommending me to have interferon treatments. Uh, if you don't know anything about interferon, just go to google.com and type in interferon. It will explain everything about it. This treatment will be 48 weeks. And what it consists of is one in injection, self-injection, once a week. And also, I will be taking Copegas, which is in a pill form, 200 milligrams. I will take three tablets in the morning and three tablets in the evening. Now, this interferon and Copegas has some tremendous amount of side effects. And it doesn't hit all people the same way. I may have some severe side effects and I may not. Um, this is what is very scary about it, not to mention the self-injection part. I <laughs> am um, doing this video in hopes of helping someone in the future uh, with maybe some questions they may have um, and, and also see that they're not alone. Um, I will be doing a video documentary once a week. Tomorrow I give my first injection. Tomorrow before bedtime, I will also be taking my first dose of Copegas. And once I take the medications, I will go to bed and sleep off most of the side effects, hopefully. And the, the hardest part of the side effects supposedly last three days, and then I start to feel a little better. So I'm kind of new at this. I'm very scared. I'm afraid. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, I've been very brave in the past, but that's just a cover-up, the little mask over the face type thing. But hey, I'm being honest. This is serious. It's a serious disease. The hepatitis C is killing me as we speak today. So I must do this interferon treatment. It will save my life. So I will be doing another video next week and letting you know how this whole week went. This next week coming up. I will let you know exactly what side effects I did have and what I didn't have and how well my week went. I'll just kind of give you in details what's going on. So everyone out there watching, please keep me in your prayers. I have you in my prayers. And I want to thank all the people who has supported me and, and willing to support me through this today. I have a lot of Alcoholics Anonymous friends who wants to be there by my side and I have some internet friends that I've met and I have strangers that's even praying for me and church people um, I'm not I'm not religious by far but I'm very spiritual I believe my higher power is God and I pray to my God every day and night um, my beautiful wife she is the one that's here with me at home so she's going to help support me as much as she can uh, I'm unemployed right now due to my health. My wife will be working during the day, so this may be a difficult task of spending time alone. I know that the, one of the major side effects with interferon is depression. Um, so I, I have to definitely watch myself, share my feelings, and if I'm feeling depressed or suicidal, that I must, must tell somebody. And that's very important. That was stressed tremendously to me with my doctor and uh, other people that's had these treatments so uh, all I can say right now is I'm scared to death and, I, and I'm sure anyone else out there who is 
of facing interferon treatments feel the same way. But I've, I've got hope and I have faith. And I pray to my God that he will be beside me. And regardless which way this turns out, I will always be with God. And that's important, just to pray to your higher power, whichever that may be. Again, I want to thank everyone for listening to me. And thank you for all the support. If you have any questions in the future, you can either message me right here on Facebook or you can even email me at cyberfamily08 at yahoo.com. If you just want to throw me a few words or a question, please feel free. Cyberfamily08 at yahoo.com. I will be doing another video next week. So again, thank you and I hope you have a wonderful week. God bless.